Hey guys, working on this awesome BMW today. And I want to tell you a realization I had. You do not need a Tornador. You don't need one. And this video is all about why. Hey everybody, it's Nick from Hawk Pro Detailing, Heber City, Utah. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Would love to build a community with you. I was hard on the Tornador Velocity back. Just did a video about that. You can check that out above. I think I was too hard on the Velocity back, and I wasn't hard enough on the Tornador. So my Tornador Black treated me well for a couple years, and then it broke, and I had to find other solutions. What I came to use was a very, very tight stream of air. It can do incredible amounts of um, displacing of dry material in nooks and crannies between seats, phenomenal. I got used to this. I got used to it. And so when I tried this yesterday, I don't think it was so much about the vacuum, the whole velocity vac. I think it's that the Tornador just may not be as good as I thought it was. So let me expand on my logic here because I know a lot of you guys out there love the Tornador and I did for a long time, but look at this thin nozzle and how much it's able to just shoot things out of nooks and crannies. This is one of my favorite applications for this. And then you combine that with the agitation of a drill brush. And I have this at slight fast forward here, uh, but the results are awesome. I mean, we're just seeing a ton of dry soil removed from the carpets. I'm sort of blowing it out the door, hopefully. We're really getting a lot of progress, and by we, I mean I and my amazing tools. All right, but I'm gonna show you a lot of comparisons to try to justify it here. So I just did the Tornador Black here. I think I have a pretty decent California Air Tools compressor. Um, and I just, the results were fine, and then I'm like, well, let me try compressed air, right? Because that little nozzle and, and, a, and a cheap drill brush and a drill attachment is gonna be a lot less. Look, the drill attachment there on the drill brush, um, is helping me in a really awesome way. I'm using the Tornador here um, as, a, as a finishing touch, uh, and that's working pretty nicely as well. Uh, and then I combine the two to just get a sense of it. And, and combining the two is probably the best for either a Tornador or just that, that air gun nozzle. Um, but the results, to me, didn't stand out enough to spend 160 bucks on a Tornador Black. Um, and if I'm gonna get a Tornador, I want the Tornador Black. It, it's much more powerful than the white one. Uh, but here I'm showing you what I could do with just, if you're gonna have an air compressor anyway, right? These are the comparisons. Just this little air nozzle. Um, I'm just blowing a ton of dry soil out of these carpets. I will say the Tornador Black probably shines a little bit more on these uh, uh, carpets here, uh, as opposed to kind a nook and cranny interior detailing that's my personal opinion but look with with compressed air blown out of the gun and uh and this particular drill brush you know it's it's an amazing combination it's, it's making this super easy super effortless and that's just the way i feel i mean i went so long without my tornador black that i think i forgot about it but you know here i am i'm going to use a tornador black again and and it's doing okay for me a lot like the velocity vac in a video I did yesterday, just, you know, the combination's fine with, with the brush and the Tornador. The combination's fine with my air gun. Um, the Tornador does a nice job of doing a final, you know, spray through of the carpets. And yes, it does fine uh, with this brush. Um, so I, I gave it plenty of chances here. I mean, <laughs> I remember the tool well. I think I just got so used to finding other solutions than the carpets because car carpets can be so tricky. My thoughts so far, um, the Tornador does a nice job on rugs, it really does. But when you combine the Tornador with the drill brush, or you have uh, this with the drill brush, it's really negligible. This obviously is gonna be a lot cheaper than the Tornador Black, it's some $200. Um, what I'll also say is when you're, when you're blowing out the actual inside of the car, this with its just horsepower and force is way better than the Tornador, which I find a little weak. Another place I love using just compressed air without the Tornador, just lots of horsepower, you know, just blowing out the center consoles, blowing out air vents. This is a great first and final step, first and final step 
for any car. In the middle, you might steam, APC, brushes, whatever. And then look, oh my gosh, I love using this particular attachment for air vents. You can't get in there with a Tornador. With this, you can literally get in every nook and cranny. You can go above, you can go under each air vent, and it pretty much does what you need it to do. So do you love the Tornador? Let me know what your thoughts are. Am I crazy? Am I a hack? Am I uh, onto something? Are we being marketed to? That's my question. Do we need a Tornador? No.